Venus Monkey 1000 and today, sorry, hey everyone, this is Monkey 1000 and today I have a new product, kind of a new product, that I wanted to try so I thought I'd bring you along to see how well it is. So what I have here is, we're always looking for a snack to eat that um, it doesn't have much sugar in it or very low sugar in it. So some of these keto things um, have low sugar. I am not on the keto diet. I'm not doing that. But I am, you know, sometimes I find a product that I like from them. I will buy it. And I will continue buying it if I really like it. Because a lot of them have lower sugar and fat in it. So it helps. So what I found, this is from Kellogg's. And it's a keto um, bar. It's a peanut butter fudge snack bar. It has 7 grams of protein and 2 grams of net carbs. It has 1 gram of total sugars. It does have 210 sodium, which is quite, it's not bad for one of these because some of them are really, really high. Anyway, so I'll show it to you here. This is the box. It is open because my mother snuck in there and took one. So she's already tried it, but I have not. And the calories are 160 calories. I'm going to show you the, the, the thing up here so you can see the protein in that if you're interested in these. I mean, you know, they're easy to go. They do have other ones here on the back. But this is the one we found that we wanted. They had the chocolate one, but I think that one had a lot more um, calories and stuff in it. So we didn't get that one. So, I'm going to take it out of the box. You get, how many did we get in here? I, I believe not. it's five bars. So, we get five bars in here. So, and the thing was, this was very expensive. For five bars, it was $7. So, very expensive for, for five bars. You could probably make these on your own. And, um, you know, something like this. So, I'm sure you can find recipes and stuff for these. I, I made them once. I made them homemade. So, yeah. So, we're going to open this up. And I did say, yeah, it was over $7 for five of them. So, that's quite expensive. And here's the bar. This is the peanut butter one. I'm going to show you. And you got the little nuts in there. And that, you can see that real good. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why my thing just went off. I might have hit the button or something. <coughs> Anyways, it's still recording, so that's okay. Alright, so, when I get my thing back on, then I'll take a bite of it. So, there you go. That's what it looks like. It's a good thick bar. Um, would it probably fill you up until your next meal? Probably you might. You know, peanut butter is very filling. So, let's take a bite of this. Huh. Uh, we'll take a bite of this and, um, yeah, see how we like it. Okay. Tastes like peanut butter with nuts on it. So that's not bad. Mm. Oh. Yeah. It, to me, it's good. I like it. Not bad, but for $7 a box, for five of them, I probably won't buy them again. I think that's really expensive. So, um, yeah. They're not bad to me. I can taste the nuts in them. I taste the peanut butter. The peanut butter is not as peanut buttery as taking it out of the jar, but... It's there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
to me it's not that bad at all. I quite like it. Now I don't think it would be very filling. I mean, you know, it's no different than having a taco bar, you know. Um, you know, the taco bars don't fill you up, but at least this has to have some kind of protein in it. It does have sugar, but not a whole lot of sugar. Could be worse. But your carbs, you have 12 grams of carbs, which is considered sugar. So you have to add that in. And it does have sugar alcohol, which is one gram. So, you know, you're really looking at 13 grams of sugar, which is kind of high. But for these kind of bars and stuff, it isn't. And, um, I mean, if you do a lot of walking or jogging and stuff, you could eat one of these, no problem. You know, it tie you over until you got your next meal. Um, yeah, but I think they're too expensive. I really do. Otherwise, yeah, I would buy them, you know, put them in your purse or whatever. Wherever you're going, you just take them with you. So, I like that concept, you know. Um, yeah, I would, I would, if the price was lower, a lot lower, I would buy them. So, and they do have other ones, um, but um, the only one I saw was the chocolate one at Winn-Dixie. This is where I got them, so maybe if you check your store, you might have the other two here that is showing. Let me show you, yeah. So you might have the other two, so um, I don't know. We didn't. I didn't see those there. So, anyways, yeah, um, my rating, um, I give it a thumbs up, one thumbs up, um, I, out of, let's say, one to five rating, I'd probably give it a, a two, and that's it, because, um, yeah, the price is way out there. It, it's too expensive, you know. It's just ridiculous. So, anyways, that's my opinion. Um, yeah, so <coughs> I'm choking to this. Ready for water. Um, yeah, so, anyways, I would buy them again if the price came down a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. So, anyways, that's it for now. That concludes my video for this one. I do have another video I'm going to do, and so stay tuned and keep looking for them. I'm going to try to get them up at least one up a week, so then you guys are getting something. I am not working again. I'm at home, so we're, we're doing that. So, anyways, um, I don't know if I'm going to go back to work yet or not so we're waiting for the doctors so anyways that's it for now and monkey says she's out y'all have a great day and keep keep looking for my videos there i'll get some up for you i have another one in mind so i'm going to do it today too so y'all take care monkey says she's out bye